Curtis, uh, two touchdowns tonight, two big ones tonight. What's going through your mind right now? What you guys get going tonight? Uh, it was a great game tonight. Everything was clicking, <clears throat> the run game, the pass game. Everything was just going going great tonight. And just having the opportunity to get two touchdowns during this game was great. What was your favorite touchdown catch, the jump pass or the 75 yard to start the second half? Uh, I wouldn't say that was my, either one was my favorite, yeah. but it was it was a great job by the O line for blocking, great great throw by JT, and I just got to thank those guys. You feel like you got your deep passing game on track tonight. Do you leave your feeling that way? Oh yeah, I feel like I feel like it was a great start for us to go out there and be able to to, to show that we could throw the ball down the field and hopefully people play us back. Curtis, you had over 130 yards tonight. I mean, that's really impressive. Coach used the word explosive. Do you feel like that this was maybe a breakout game for you? I feel like I had a couple other games that I felt like I did pretty well. Uh, today I just took advantage of the opportunities. Coach gave me the ball, and I'm supposed to go out there and make plays, and that's what I had to do. Irving said he didn't see this coming. Is this a surprise to you? Oh, not at all. I know what I could do out there. Uh, I, sh I showed a glimpse of it during the se uh, during this season and last season, so I know what I could do out there. What about you guys as an offense? Oh, the offense, yeah. I mean, we went out there and played a great game today. Uh, like I said, everything was clicking. Uh, quarterbacks, receivers, we, was, we, we did we had to do out there, and it was a great game for everybody. Is there a reason why that happened? Is there something different <laughs> that happened this week that made that possible? Uh, no, nothing really different. It's about execution. We had many opportunities uh, in previous weeks. We just didn't execute at the highest level, and today we took advantage, and that's what we did. Chris, it seemed like you guys had a good mix of those intermediate throws and weren't afraid to go over the top. Is this a perfect example of you know, imposing your guys' will in the passing game, but also making it Oh yeah, uh, if they if, if they're gonna play us if they gonna play us off and not let us throw the ball deep, we are gonna just take what we could get. Uh, because once we get the players get the ball in our players' hand, we know they could take it for 10, 20, 30 yards. We could, we could get it going down the field. So we're gonna take what they give us. Did you guys try any more double moves this week? Did you talk about that? Not really, not really double moves. Just, just know your personnel, know who you're going against, and, and know what they struggle with. How helpful is it for the offense whenever the defense also helps you guys out and scores to it? <laughs> oh, it's great when off, when the defense out there uh, getting stops, get, uh, getting three and outs, and putting us in great uh, field position. It's, it's easy for us to go out there uh, with good field position and and call the right plays and be able to move the ball and, and know that we got a lot of room to, to score. You guys, Curtis, before tonight, um, there were questions about whether or not you were touching it enough or touching it early enough. Did you feel at all before this game that maybe you were getting lost in the shuffle a little bit as you guys started to figure things out? Oh, <laughs> uh, no, I, I don't pay attention to that. Uh, Coach Meyer knows, knows what he's doing. Uh, he's going to give me the ball how many times he, he, feels, he feels the need to. Uh, I just got to take advantage of the opportunities that I get for myself. He said you're the only guy he really worries about getting the ball. I'm just curious what it's like for you to, to be that guy and know he, you know he thinks that highly of you. Uh, I, I don't really pay too much attention to that. Every week I just go out there with my guys and just and push them and they, and they push me. We just go out there and, and try to uh, do the best we can to make Saturdays easy. Hey, Curtis, it was easy to see from the press box when Tommy Armstrong jumped back onto the field. I'm wondering if you as a fellow football player who you know, puts his body on the line, did you <coughs> notice that? Did you feel an energy when he came back? Just good for him? Oh, yeah. Uh, i definitely seen the whole play, what happened. And, you know, even though he's not on my team, you know, I still pray. And, and, and I, don't, I don't want no injury like that on no player. So seeing him come back on the field run and, and know he's okay, that was, that was great for everybody. First, what was the matchup you guys got when you were 75 yards? I think you came out of the slot. I'm trying to remember, but you had a little, basically a post, and uh, JT kind of threw you open. But what y'all see there? Did you just team that at halftime? Oh, uh, we knew we knew what they was gonna do already. We had we had that coming into the game. We, it just uh, the matter of time we was gonna run it. Uh, we, I knew the nickel was gonna play me outside, man. And uh, I just had to take advantage of the opportunity, make it look like I'm going outside and hit the middle of the field. Curtis, you seem consistently con confident, but do you think that this game helps the confidence as a team as a whole? Yes, uh, definitely. Just putting up the amount of points we did and just seeing how, how well the offense flow uh, is, is definitely give us momentum going into tomorrow and uh, just getting this week started. Curtis, there were a couple of jet sweeps where JT actually took the ball under center. I don't know if you've ever seen that before. Was there anything different about him getting it under center and handing it off to you that makes that play more successful that you guys want to try this week? Uh, no, practice. Uh, practicing, it, it didn't take much. Uh, JT is a great quarterback, so he made it happen. Uh, it's just the same thing as running push or, or anything like that. But uh, I just took the hand up and had to do what I had to do. So there's nothing different you have to do when it's no, no, it's, it's really it's 
That was the same thing. How long has like the Jets been in, in the playbook? I mean, because we've never seen him before tonight, or he's another center like that. Oh uh, no, yeah, we we had it in the playbook. It just uh, just seeing the right look for us and knowing uh, when to uh, run the right play. Um, what's Tony Armstrong left the game? I was great out there just going out there making plays and you know my guys right behind me they out there making plays too and uh, they, I see the excitement on their face and I do what I do for them uh, for the guys on my team and for the coaches and I, I'm excited about what I do out there. Once Armstrong left the game did that um, change like the defensive scheme or anything like that? I, I don't really pay attention to what the defense do on the, on the defensive side I just go out there and do what I have to do on the offensive side. Do you think it kind of like gave you an upper hand in the game? I wouldn't say it gave us an upper hand we knew we had to do coming into the game. It's just about execution, like I said. Chris, do you feel like the offense executes <coughs> best when it's up tempo, like it was tonight? Oh yeah, just just playing fast and, and and keeping guys on defense in the game, get them tired, and just keep punt, keep pounding, keep pounding, because we uh, we we work every week, we condition, and and we're ready for the up tempo. How fast are you? Because it seems like you're 